Where does dust come from? Common household dust is the most visible indoor air pollutant that we see. It is composed of many different sources and comes in all sizes. Dust normally contains skin flakes, textile fibers such as lint, plant pollen, human and animal hairs, dirt and soil, decomposing insects, and food debris. It can also include soot and particulate matter from cooking, smoking, and outdoor vehicle traffic. And more disturbingly, heavy metals such as lead and arsenic have been commonly found in testing, as well as pesticides such as DDT. Household dust also contains microscopic dust mites, tiny insect-like pests that feed on dead skin cells. They don't bite or burrow into our bodies, but they are one of the most common allergens and they can trigger allergic reactions and asthma in many people. Hundreds of thousands of dust mites can live in the bedding, mattresses, upholstered furniture, carpets or curtains of your home. The harmful allergen they create comes from their fecal pellets and body fragments. According to the American Lung Association, dust mites are virtually everywhere. Roughly 4 out of 5 homes in the United States have detectable levels of dust mite allergen in at least one bed. Dust mites accumulate indoors over time, and in fact they comprise over 50% of the weight of the average pillow. Large dust particles 20 microns in size or larger are heavy and tend to land on furniture or the floor. These particles tend to accumulate over time and can cause allergy attacks. Small dust particles less than 20 microns across are much finer and tend to float in the air. This causes a greater risk to those who have chronic respiratory diseases such as asthma and emphysema because the particles are constantly being inhaled. Perhaps the most surprising fact is that the average home generates 40 pounds of dust every year per 1,500 square feet. Clearly household dust is not only unsightly, but a true health hazard to families. Simply improving ventilation by doing things like opening windows is not effective as a lot of dust comes from contaminants in the outdoor air. A high quality air